What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I want to show you how to slice the notes in the sequencer of Ableton like you would with the MIDI chopper in FL Studio. If you were like me, you learned how to make beats watching FL Studio tutorials, even though you used a completely different DAW. So I have my basic um, eight-step pattern right here for these hi-hats. Sounds like this. And I'm going to use this slice notes, which is, um, you have to have max for live in order to use this. So hopefully you have max for live. Now what this allows me to do is select one of these notes. Like for example, let's go with this one and I can input four on here and press this button and it'll split it up for me. All right, so let's go ahead and undo that for right now. And let me duplicate my loop so that it's longer. And we could go crazy with this. So let's do that again for, whoops, select the note. For this one, I would like to go three. Let's do four on this one. This one I'm gonna do like maybe eight. Let's see what it sounds like. This one, let's do three. And I'm going to go ahead and add a, a second layer of hi-hats beneath this, so maybe the C below. For this one, I wanted to do three. And for this one, we could just have it do two. All right, so basically that's how you use slice notes. And I mean, as a bonus, if you wanted to add some variation to your hi-hats, I'll also show you how to do this. You don't need Max for Live for this. Just go into your browser, go into MIDI effects, and you're going to go into uh, velocity right here. Double click on that velocity, and you can now randomize your velocity with this random knob right here. Add some reverb. Little bit of ping pong delay. Take a third step. We could start panning it from left to right. So we can either grab pancake by uh, Cable Guys, we can grab Pan Man by Sound Toys, which gives us a little bit more uh, room for manipulation. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Pan Man. And uh, let's go ahead and put this on rhythm step. going to turn MIDI off, start off in the middle, and I want it to go softer. And uh, let's go with Two bars would be cool, maybe one bar, let's see. Turn down the width. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do to these hi-hats for now. For the sake of this tutorial, 
all I really wanted to show you was the chopper tool slice notes. So if you like this video, definitely let me know that. Let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.